Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Marone with a quick tip that when you're writing a client alert, you want to make sure that the alert has perspective. So to be a really good client alert, in my opinion, the ones that resonate the most are ones that take a stance that say, why is this issue important to the client? Why should they care about it? What do they need to know? Because that will lead to more conversation and a follow-up and showcase that you understand their business needs and that you can potentially help them with those. So I encourage you to go beyond just reporting on a legal update or a case. Get to the bottom of the why and showcase your unique perspective that actually will boost your business. So if you are a M&A attorney, you'll want to make sure you're talking about the M&A related implications. So the idea is to synthesize the information succinctly but then to provide value with what does this mean to the client? Why do they need to know about it? Why should they care? And also that you are the right lawyer or law firm for handling a matter like this. And you do that through really strong content. The other advice I have is don't feel like you have to write a book just because you feel like, okay, it's short. Short is good, people are perusing alerts and blog posts on their phones and to the extent that you can break it up into short paragraphs it's better regardless if you're reading these alerts on your phone or on your desktop people's eyes tend to go towards white space so if you can break it up with bullets with subheadings with anything that delineates the information you're presenting in a succinct and clear way you will capture the reader's attention and then finally the subject and title of your of the email and then of the alert itself is so important and make sure you actually deliver on that. So if it says it's gonna be about one thing and it, it sort of talks about something else that's not delivering on the promise, you wanna be clear, succinct, and very straightforward and to the point. So don't feel like you need to get cute with music lyrics or Game of Thrones lyrics, Game of Thrones um, titles, just make it simple. And always remember, you're speaking in your client's language, not writing for other lawyers at other law firms. So while your clients may be lawyers, you want to make sure you're using terminology that resonates with them. I hope this is helpful. Write that alert. Write that blog post. This is content that gives you touch points with your audience with your clients with your referrals with your prospects and so there's no better time spent than writing alerts in my opinion reach out to me at the social media butterfly blog.com on youtube and of course on linkedin